Saw a lot of emergency vehicles near the Christopher Newport campus today. It was just a drill. The Newport News Fire Department was training for search and rescue missions and other serious scenarios. Ten your sides, Furlan Webster got an inside look at how crews practice for real emergencies. All right, come on, let's go. Today, Newport News Fire Department came together at Christopher Newport University <laughs> to do some training. Everybody is given a specific job to do, and ours was fire tech. Let's do a secondary search. This division will start here. We'll back. Lieutenant Douglas Meyer knows his way around the fire <laughs> and gives his crew instructions to bring everyone out safely. Hey, come here. Demo. Stay together. We're going to go room by room. 20, 30. People with radios and everybody's trying to talk to one person. It gets gets overwhelming. Communication can get tough among these firefighters. Am I talking? Yes, I hear you. And that's why they have a nice toy. It's a thermal imaging camera. A firefighter's toy. This is part of the technology that has developed over the course of the years. They call it the tick. It comes down to it. it when you go in a search and rescue, this is the tool to come in with. I, I can see him right off the bat. It wouldn't be no question about spilling around or anything like that. Halfway down the hallway, I could see him from right there, and I could be able to go directly to him. A fine tool indeed, but... They help a little bit, but uh, you also, we also train with them so we don't become depending on them. Because nothing beats good old-fashioned basic training. If it's clear, remember, you can walk till it's clear, but once you hit that smoke, you need to get down on the floor and start doing your search. Captain Michael Kowalik goes over some basic points to keep his team in tune with the task at hand. When you get upstairs and you actually enter Division One or Divi uh, Division Two or Division Three, I need you to go ahead and tell me what kind of search you're doing. All these things add up to great training, Four. good education, this type of structure we don't mess around with, and a little thankfulness. A training like this doesn't come up very often, but when it does, you can take advantage of it. Furlan Webster Jr., 10 on your side. Another interesting tidbit here, the building they used on the CNU campus, it's actually an old administration building and it will be demolished within the year. Officials say it's best to train in large unfamiliar spaces, so this was the perfect opportunity.